I know you guys are wondering what this video is about and obviously if you've read the title or the title's down here now actually this is a DIY on creating your own jean shorts and um, I did two versions of creating some jean shorts I did this one which I dip dyed them and these were actual jeans just to stress it a little bit and that was fun doing that so here is the left part of the jeans I just kept this to show you that I actually did cut them up I went to the dollar store just bought a few things you know to dip dye these and I loved how they came out I mean you can get them to become whiter if you just keep on bleaching them but I just liked how they came out so I left them like this. These are actually Levi's for $2. So these jeans were only $2 at the thrift store. This DIY because, you know, I thought it would be fun taking some old pair of jeans, turning them into something that you would actually want to wear and that you would feel comfortable wearing them with instead of, you know, just keeping your old jeans that you never wear anymore, like in your closet or whatever. But yeah, so follow me on Instagram. I upload a lot of pictures, like usually like, three a day usually. I'm sorry about the horribly long intro and this is just a really boring intro right now so let's actually get to the real part of the video. And you watching if you want to see how to make these babies. Bye! <laughs> Okay, so I purchased this large bucket at the dollar store. All of these things are purchased at the dollar store. And then this is optional, but you can use a spray bottle, which helps really well with the bleach. And then I got some latex gloves, and these are really comfy on my hands. And of course you need the bleach. The bleach is like the main priority of this whole tutorial. Alright, so here comes the fun part. I just cut up my jeans already. As you can tell, I distressed them, whatever. And now I'm just going to be pouring in the bleach into the large bucket. Ooh, look at that bleach. Ooh, so pour your desired amount. Not too much because you don't want to waste all the bleach. So then I'm just going to take my shorts and fold them in half or so and just dip them into where I want them to be bleached I don't want to go all the way up so I want to create like a gradient effect on my shorts and I'm just going to put them like three-fourths the way up or so and then get the bottom of my shorts the most um, with bleach on them if that makes sense so taking my time on the bottom of the shorts rather than the middle of the shorts because I want it to be lighter on the bottom. Okay, so then I'm just going to place them on a trash bag so I don't stain my floor, which a trash bag would help, or some old cloth or something to place them on. And then spray bottle um, wherever you think you missed a spot on your shorts. Why did I say spray bottle? I mean, use the spray bottle to spray the spots that you think you've missed on your shorts. Okay, so that's what I meant, obviously. And just keep on spraying, you know, just around the area. Careful when you flip it over, you don't want to get any bleach spots on the back of the shorts or on the front of the shorts, whatever way you flip them over first. And just keep on spraying with the spray bottle with bleach. Okay? And then you're just going to let them dry. Voila, here we are again. So they have been dry for about half hour or so. And obviously they weren't like fully, fully dry, but they were somewhat dry. I'm just dipping them in water right now just to get rid of most of the bleach that's on there. And then after I finish dipping them in water, I put them in the washer by themselves the first wash and I put them in the dryer by themselves so only the first time you need to wash it by themselves because you don't want to stain any of the other clothes mixed in in the washer or dryer um, with bleach so it works out best that way okay so the first thing you will need are some old pair of jeans got those for two bucks at the thrift store then some scissors tweezers 
those my feet and a fork is optional but it works really really good when you're fraying and then you need a marking tool I used a colored pencil okay fun part <laughs> you're gonna mark your pants wherever you want to cut them I cut mine kind of low because I wanted to roll mine up and then I'm just going to insert a little slit and cut them on the top part first and then I'm speeding it up because I hate long videos and this video is already really long so I'm cutting super duper fast and yeah this is so entertaining watching me cut my pants. Awesome. And then I did the same to the other side except this one I missed this mix speedy over here. <laughs> Look at how quick that is. God, I love iMovie. It looks really good. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to keep on cutting, and there we go, we have our shorts. They're actually pretty long, so I tried them on, that's the length of them on me. So I wanted to double fold them, because I like that length, and I like the fold on them, and that's awesome. Okay, here we go with making a little slit and fraying. I like to watch out for my pockets, so you don't want to cut a hole in your pocket. You want to feel your finger underneath just be careful you don't cut your finger and then just make a slit once you have your slit you are going to be taking some tweezers and just plucking a little bit of the string around the slit and just keep pulling all the white parts of the thread or all the white pieces of thread and then with my fork this is just awesome I like dig it under and then I pull back toward me and I think it works really good. And as you can tell, you're getting some fraying down there. And then it looks really distressed right now and destroyed and I love that type of jean. So then I made another hole or another slit in my jeans so it looks better. And then taking a flat iron, I'm just going to flatten the ends of my jeans so they stay better that way then I try it on and I absolutely love these jeans so that's it and please subscribe and check all the links down below thank you love you guys